Hi guys, good day. This is Teacher MJ. And our topic for today is still combinations and we are told to find N and R. I already have the video in finding N. So feel free to see it on the link in the descriptions below on how to find N. But this time we are told to find R. So I already have the link on how to find this one or how to solve the, the value of N. Because our video was too long, so I just cut it and then we will find, this time we are told to find R. So we will be answering 3 and 4. Alright, so without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's find R. So in finding R, so we have example, so we have C equals 10. So once again, class, in combination, C is, this is N and R. So it's equals to 120. Therefore, our N is 10. And our R is, uh, we are told to find R. So this is 10. N is equals to 10. Find R. So to find R, okay, so to find R, so this will be R factorial equals, so, okay, so this time class is this 10 here, this N, this 10 here. So you will find starting from 10, okay, starting from 10, because we already know class that N n factorial is equivalent to do you still remember the n factorial it means that this is n n minus 1 n minus 2 and n minus 3 and so on and so forth right because if we will say if we will say 5 factorial what do you mean by 5 factorial class 5 factorial it means it's equivalent to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 therefore that is the you multiply Le uh, less than 5 consecutive numbers less than 5 you multiply it it means 5 factorial so example if 5 factorial it means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 so you multiply consecutive numbers less than 5 so so for n so this time so this 120 here our answer the combination answer 120 you put it in the denominator and then on the top class on this part okay in this part starting from 10 okay starting from 10 because our n is 10 so starting from 10 you will find you you will get the product of consecutive numbers less than 10 so less than 10 class of course the number after 10 okay less than 10 is 9 next is 8 next is 7 so you find the product of these numbers that when you divide the, the answer of these numbers, the product of, of these numbers, you can divide it by 120. Okay? So we will start with nine uh, no, start with 10 and the next number will be 9 because less than 10, consecutive numbers less than 10. So 10 times 9. So 10 times 9 is 90. Okay, 90 divided by 120, your answer class should be a whole number. And then you can factor it out. You can you can have the factorial of your answer. But since 90 divided by 120, you will get a decimal answer. So therefore, you still need another number less than 9. Consecutive number less than 9. So we have another number 8. Once again, if your question, sir, 10 and 9 is 90. We need to divide it by 120 for our combination answer but when we divide 90 divided by 120 of course your answer is a decimal or 3 fourth that's 0.75 uh, so therefore uh, 90 is not enough because we need to have a whole number answer and that whole number answer can do we can do it in factorial ways so we try to put another number so 10 times 9 times 8 let's try this one 10 times 9 times 8 10 times 9 times 8, 720. Or you can actually multiply 10 times 9. This is 90 times 8, 0, 72, 720. So let's try to divide 720 divided by 120. So 720 divided by 120, that is 6. Okay? But you're not yet done, class. You're not yet done. So, sir, why we're not yet done? It's because... Our R here is factorial, so we have R factorial. We need to get the factorial ways. We check if 6, if we have the factorial of 6. So starting from the smallest number, 2 factorial, it means 2 times 1, and 2 times 1, it's not 6, right? 
So we 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 do another we try to see the next number for two. So we have three factorial. Three factorial it means three times two times one. And three times two is three times two is six times one is six. So therefore, okay, therefore. So therefore, our answer is six. We can do it in three factorial ways. Or three fac three factorial is equivalent to six. So therefore, this is three factorial. So we can cancel now the factorial, and our r is equivalent to three. So therefore, our answer is three. All right. So that's how you answer, or that's how you solve for r. Starting from ten. Then you find consecutive numbers less than 10. You multiply those numbers and it should be, we can get a whole number when we divide it with the answer of the combination. So to, to further understand this one, let's try another example. So our answer is 3. So let's have, okay, this is 28. This is 28. Okay, 28. All right, so 28. So let's try this one. Um, starting from, so we have r factorial equals, so we divide this, the combination answer, we put it on denominator, so 28. We will start at 8, so start at 8. So next number will be, so next number will for 8 is 7. So let's try to divide 8, uh, no, let's try, let's try to multiply 8 and 7. And then we divide the answer by 28. And let's check if we get a whole number answer. So 8 times, of course, 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 7 is 56. We divide it by 28. Can we divide 56 by 28? Mm -hmm, yes. Okay, so 56 divided by 28. That's correct. That's 2. But you're not yet done because we need to get the factorial. So let's try to get the smallest number. Let's start with 2 factorial. 2 factorial it means 2 times 1. Oh, 2 times 1 is 2. So therefore, this is equivalent to our factorial is, our answer is 2 factorial. Because 2 times 1 is 2. So you can cancel factorial and our R is 2. So even if we check that one class, let's try to check if we get the same answer. Let's try to check. <clears throat> let's try to check. C equals N factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial so our n is 8 so 8 factorial over this is 8 minus 2 factorial r factorial no 2 factorial so let's try to check class if we get 28 so we have our answer class is 2 do not forget about it so we have 8 factorial this is 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. We will stop at 6 factorial because 8 minus 2 is 6 factorial. So we have 6 factorial and 2 factorial. So cancel this out. 8 times 6, uh, no, 8 times 7 is 56. And 2 factorial class is 2 times 1. 2 factorial is equivalent to 2 times 1. This is equivalent to 2. So 2. 56 divided by 2 is 28. So that's it, class. That's how you solve or that's how you find the value of R. Would you like Would you like to have another example? Okay, let's try another example. Okay, we get a book here. Let's try another example, finding R. Alright, so let's try. Okay, let's try this time. Let's try another example. So what if we say... Okay, finding R. So what if we say C is equals to, I you know, C 11 R is equals to 165. All right, so this is R factorial equals, so our 165, we put it in denominator. So starting from 11, so starting from 11 class, because n is 11, we multiply a number less than 11. So starting from 11, so next number less than 11 is 10. We try to multiply 10 and 11. So 11 times 10. So I hope that your teacher will allow you to use the calculator. Okay, for you to answer this easily. So 11 times 10. 
this is 110 and we divide it by 165 let's try to check if we get the whole number answer divided by 165 uh, the answer is decimal so the answer is decimal therefore uh, we need to multiply another number less than 10 so multiply it by 9 so let's try to check 11 times 10 times 9 this is 990 divided by 165 let's try to check if we can divide this one by 165, 990 divided by 165. Oh, we have 6. 6. Our answer is 6. But this is not yet our final answer. It's because we need to get the uh, we need to get the factorial of this. Let's try to check if we have a factorial in which the factorial, the answer is 6. So our factorial, we will try to have the start with is equals to let's start with 2. Once again, let's start with the smallest number. Okay, we start with 2. So 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, but this is 6. Let's try 3. 3 factorial, it means 3 times 2 times 1. So 3 times 2 times 1, that is 3 times 2 is 6 times 1 is 6. Okay, so 3 factorial is equivalent to 6. So we need to get the factorial class because our R is here is a factorial so that we can cancel this out. So this is equivalent to 6 is equivalent to 3 factorial. And then cancel this out. So our R is equals to 3. That's it. That's it class. That's how you solve for R. So I hope that you like this video. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates. I hope you learned something new today. And if you have some questions, please leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe. By the way, our next video, I will try to make uh, videos about combinations, which are hard problems of combinations, tricky combinations. So that would be that would be next our next video. Okay. So and you have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye bye.